Did you know that taking just a few moments to reflect on your day can dramatically transform your life? If you want to unlock your full potential and navigate life's challenges with confidence, you need to embrace the power of self-reflection. It's not just about pondering your thoughts, it's about digging deep into your experiences, emotions and choices to gain profound insights. In a world that often demands our attention in a million different directions, self-reflection is the key to reclaiming your focus and understanding your true self. So, let's embark on this journey of introspection together and discover how self-reflection can lead to meaningful growth and transformation. Number 1. The Power of Perception have you ever experienced a moment that seemed to glow with possibility? Perhaps it was the first day of spring, when the sun breaks through the grey clouds and bathes everything in golden light. Or that exhilarating feeling when you accomplish something you thought was beyond your reach. Your heart swells with pride, and everything feels right with the world. This sense of happiness is not just about what happens to us, but how we choose to perceive those moments. It's incredible how our perception shapes our reality, influencing our emotions, decisions, and ultimately, our lives. Perception is a powerful lens through which we view the world. It can transform mundane experiences into extraordinary ones, and vice versa. The way we interpret events significantly impacts our mental health and overall well-being. For instance, two people can face the same challenge, a job interview, a breakup, or even a loss, and have entirely different experiences based on their perceptions. One might see the interview as an opportunity for growth, while the other views it as a threat, spiraling into anxiety. This divergence in perception illustrates how much control we have over our emotional landscape. Think back to a time in your life when your perception shifted dramatically. Maybe it was during a challenging period when you felt overwhelmed, and suddenly a shift in your mindset opened your eyes to new possibilities. Do you remember the first time you realized that setbacks could be reframed as opportunities for learning? That nostalgic moment can evoke feelings of resilience and strength. It's essential to remember that our perspective is not fixed, it can be changed with conscious effort. The question then arises, how do we cultivate a perception that empowers us rather than limits us? To harness the power of perception, we can start by practicing mindfulness. This involves paying attention to our thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing us to become more aware of our automatic reactions. By creating space between stimulus and response, we can challenge negative thought patterns and replace them with more constructive ones. Imagine a time when you faced a setback. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, you reframed it as a stepping stone to something greater. This practice not only cultivates resilience, but also enriches our lives with a sense of purpose. Another way to enhance our perception is through gratitude. When we focus on what we appreciate, our outlook transforms. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, but taking a moment each day to acknowledge the good can shift our mindset profoundly. Consider starting a gratitude journal, where you jot down three things you're thankful for each day. Over time, you'll notice a shift in your perception, making it easier to find joy in even the smallest moments. As we delve deeper into this concept, think about the last time you found joy in a seemingly mundane task, perhaps cooking a meal, enjoying a walk in nature, or laughing with a friend. Those moments are often overlooked, yet they are crucial to our happiness. They remind us that perception is everything, how we choose to view our circumstances shapes our emotional experience. So what will you do today to harness the power of your perception? How will you shift your mindset to embrace the beauty around you? Number 2. Living in the present. Imagine waking up to the sound of birds chirping, the warmth of sunlight streaming through your window, 
and the smell of fresh coffee brewing in the kitchen. In that moment, everything feels alive and vibrant. Living in the present means fully immersing ourselves in these moments, cherishing them instead of worrying about the past or the future. There's an undeniable joy in being fully engaged with the here and now. This is where life unfolds, right in front of us, waiting to be embraced. Yet in our fast-paced lives, it's all too easy to become distracted by our thoughts, anxieties and to-do lists. We often find ourselves dwelling on past mistakes or anxiously anticipating future challenges, losing sight of the beauty in the present moment. This tendency can rob us of joy and make life feel like a never-ending cycle of stress. We might catch ourselves saying, I'll be happy when as we chase after some distant goal, whether it's landing a job, achieving a certain weight, or reaching a milestone. But what if we paused and recognized that happiness exists right now within our grasp? Reflecting on the past can evoke nostalgia for moments that brought us happiness, but it's essential to remember that those moments were experienced in real time. Consider the carefree days of your youth, playing outside with friends, feeling the thrill of adventure without a care in the world. Those cherished memories are not just relics of the past, they remind us of the beauty of living in the moment. By reflecting on those joyful times, we can reignite that sense of wonder in our current lives. To cultivate the practice of living in the present, mindfulness is key. Mindfulness encourages us to fully engage with our experiences, savoring every detail. You might start by incorporating short mindfulness exercises into your daily routine. Taking a few moments to focus on your breath, savoring a meal by noticing the flavors and textures, or going for a walk while appreciating the sights and sounds around you. This practice can ground us, helping us appreciate the richness of life as it unfolds. Another way to embrace the present is through the art of letting go. Often, we hold on to past regrets or future worries which can weigh us down. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, ready to dive into the ocean. If you cling to the edge, you miss out on the thrill of the jump. Letting go can be challenging, but it's a necessary step toward fully experiencing life. Ask yourself, what thoughts or worries are holding you back from living in the present? How can you release them and embrace the freedom that comes with it? Living in the present isn't about ignoring our responsibilities or aspirations, it's about finding balance. It's recognizing that while we have goals and dreams, the journey to achieving them is just as important as the destination. When we immerse ourselves in the present, we become more attuned to our feelings, needs and desires, leading to a more authentic and fulfilling life. What steps can you take today to cultivate a deeper connection with the present moment? Number three, embracing adversity. Picture this a seed buried deep in the ground, struggling against the weight of the earth above it. It faces darkness, pressure and uncertainty, yet it pushes through, emerging as a beautiful flower. Adversity, like the challenges faced by that seed, can be a transformative force in our lives. When we embrace adversity, we open ourselves to growth, resilience and ultimately a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Happiness often feels fleeting, but when we encounter obstacles, it's a reminder that life is a tapestry of experiences, both joyful and challenging. Think back to a time when you faced a significant challenge. Maybe it was a difficult breakup, a job loss or a health scare. In the midst of the struggle, it's easy to feel defeated, but as time passes, we often gain clarity. We learn valuable lessons about ourselves and develop strength we never knew we had. Those moments, though painful, can become the foundation of our personal growth. Adversity has a unique way of shaping our character. It tests our limits, forcing us to confront our fears and insecurities. Reflect on a challenging moment in your life that eventually led to a breakthrough. 
Perhaps you discovered a newfound passion or learned to appreciate the support of friends and family in ways you hadn't before. Those experiences, though difficult, can evoke feelings of nostalgia for the growth that emerged from the struggle. They remind us that we are capable of more than we realize. So, how do we embrace adversity instead of shying away from it? One powerful way is to shift our perspective. Instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable obstacles, we can see them as opportunities for learning and growth. Consider keeping a journal where you document your challenges and the lessons they teach you. This practice encourages reflection and helps you recognize the silver linings amidst the storms. Another essential aspect of embracing adversity is cultivating resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and adapt to challenging situations. It's not about avoiding difficulties, but learning to navigate through them with grace. Building resilience requires self-compassion and a willingness to acknowledge our feelings without judgment. When you face adversity, give yourself permission to feel, whether it's sadness, frustration or fear. Then ask yourself, how can I rise from this? How can I use this experience to grow stronger? As we explore the concept of adversity, it's crucial to remember that we're not alone in our struggles. Every individual faces challenges, whether they're visible or hidden. By sharing our experiences and supporting one another, we can create a sense of community that fosters resilience. Think about how you can connect with others who may be going through similar challenges. This connection can provide comfort and a sense of belonging as you navigate through life's ups and downs. Number four, practicing gratitude. Have you ever stopped to take a deep breath and appreciate the world around you? The warmth of the sun on your skin, the laughter of friends, or even the comfort of a cozy blanket on a chilly evening. These moments, often overlooked, hold immense power when we take the time to acknowledge and appreciate them. Practicing gratitude is a transformative practice that can shift our focus from what's lacking in our lives to what's abundant. It's a way to cultivate happiness, resilience and fulfillment, reminding us of the richness of our experiences. Imagine waking up each morning with a grateful heart. As you open your eyes, you take a moment to reflect on all the things in your life that bring you joy, your loved ones, your health, the opportunities that lie ahead. This simple act of appreciation can set a positive tone for your entire day, allowing you to approach challenges with a more optimistic mindset. When we practice gratitude, we shift our focus away from negativity and toward the beauty that exists in our lives, no matter how small. Gratitude is more than just a fleeting emotion, it's a practice that can be cultivated over time. Think back to a moment when you felt overwhelmed by negativity. Maybe it was during a particularly stressful week at work, where deadlines loomed and tasks piled up. In those moments, it's easy to feel consumed by what's going wrong. However, if you took a step back and focused on the aspects of your life that you were thankful for, a supportive friend, a favorite song, or even a delicious meal, you would notice that gratitude can act as a powerful antidote to stress. This practice not only enhances our mental health, but can also strengthen our relationships and increase our overall sense of well-being. One effective way to incorporate gratitude into your daily routine is by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few minutes to write down three things you're thankful for. They can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee or as profound as a meaningful conversation with a loved one. Over time, this habit allows you to notice the positive aspects of your life more readily, fostering a sense of contentment and happiness. Imagine flipping through the pages of your journal months later, seeing how your appreciation for life has evolved. This reflection can spark nostalgia, reminding you of the journey you've taken and the beauty you've experienced along the way. Another powerful practice is to express gratitude to others. 
Take a moment to reach out to someone who has made a difference in your life, be it a friend, family member, or mentor. A simple thank you can go a long way in strengthening your connections and nurturing positive relationships. It also reinforces the cycle of gratitude as expressing appreciation can inspire others to reflect on their blessings and spread positivity. How can you incorporate acts of gratitude into your interactions with others? Whether it's through a handwritten note, a heartfelt message, or just a kind word, you have the power to create a ripple effect of gratitude in the world around you. Practicing gratitude also encourages mindfulness, helping us to stay present and savor our experiences. When we take the time to appreciate the little things, we become more attuned to our surroundings and the richness of life itself. This sense of awareness fosters a deeper connection with ourselves and the world, enhancing our overall happiness. As we explore the transformative power of gratitude, it's essential to remember that it doesn't mean ignoring difficulties or pretending that everything is perfect. Life is full of ups and downs, and it's okay to acknowledge both. Practicing gratitude can coexist with challenging emotions, providing a balanced perspective that allows us to navigate life with grace. What will you choose to focus on today? What moments of gratitude can you cultivate in your life right now? Number 5. Cultivating Self-Discipline Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, staring at the vast ocean before you. The waves crash against the rocks, their rhythm beckoning you to take a leap of faith. This moment is exhilarating yet terrifying, representing the duality of self-discipline, the struggle between immediate gratification and long-term rewards. Cultivating self-discipline is akin to mastering the art of patience and resilience, enabling us to pursue our goals despite the temptations that may arise along the way. In our fast-paced world, the allure of instant gratification is ever-present. It's easy to succumb to the temptation of binge-watching a series instead of working on that important project or indulging in unhealthy snacks instead of nourishing our bodies. While these choices may bring temporary satisfaction, they can derail us from our larger aspirations. Think back to a time when you exercised self-discipline, perhaps while studying for an exam or saving money for a dream vacation. The satisfaction you felt when you achieved your goal was worth the sacrifices made along the way. This joy can serve as a powerful motivator to reinforce the importance of self-discipline in our lives. Self-discipline is not about punishment or restriction, it's about empowerment. It provides us with the tools to take control of our choices and create the lives we desire. To cultivate self-discipline, we must first understand our motivations. What drives you to achieve your goals? Is it the desire for personal growth, the pursuit of a dream, or the longing to create a better future for yourself and your loved ones? Reflecting on these motivations can ignite a sense of purpose, fueling your commitment to discipline. One effective strategy for cultivating self-discipline is setting clear, achievable goals. Instead of overwhelming yourself with grand ambitions, Break your goals into smaller, manageable tasks. For example, if your goal is to get fit, start by committing to a 10-minute workout each day. As you consistently meet these small goals, you'll build momentum and confidence, gradually increasing the challenge. This approach not only fosters discipline, but also allows you to celebrate your progress along the way, creating a sense of fulfillment. Another essential aspect of self-discipline is developing a routine. Routines provide structure and predictability, making it easier to stay focused and committed to our goals. Consider incorporating healthy habits into your daily life, whether it's setting aside time for exercise, reading, or practicing mindfulness. These rituals become anchors, guiding you toward your aspirations while reinforcing your sense of self-discipline. 
As you embark on this journey of self-discipline, remember to be kind to yourself. There will be moments of temptation and setbacks, and that's okay. Acknowledge these challenges without judgment and learn from them. What can you do differently next time? Number six, embracing impermanence. Picture a vibrant sunset, the sky ablaze with hues of orange and pink as the day gives way to night. That breathtaking beauty is fleeting, a reminder of the impermanence that surrounds us. Embracing impermanence means acknowledging that nothing lasts forever, and it's this very transience that adds richness and depth to our experiences. In a world where we often seek stability and certainty, accepting change can be both liberating and terrifying. Life is a constant ebb and flow, much like the tides of the ocean. We may find ourselves grasping for permanence, yearning to hold on to moments, relationships or achievements. However, when we cling too tightly, we often miss the beauty of the present. Think back to a cherished memory, perhaps a family gathering or a celebration with friends. As time passes, those moments may fade, yet the emotions they evoked remain. Embracing impermanence allows us to appreciate the beauty of life as it unfolds, recognizing that every experience is unique and precious. This acceptance can evoke nostalgia for moments that felt significant at the time, but are now distant memories. It reminds us of the bittersweet nature of life, how joy and sorrow are intertwined. Consider a time when you experienced loss, whether it was a loved one, a job, or a dream. In those moments of grief, it can be challenging to see beyond the pain. Yet, as time passes, we often find meaning in our experiences, realizing that they contribute to our growth and resilience. This realization can inspire curiosity about how we navigate the cycles of life. Embracing impermanence requires a shift in mindset. Instead of fearing change, we can learn to welcome it as a natural part of existence. Mindfulness practices can help us cultivate this perspective by encouraging us to be fully present in each moment. When we observe our thoughts and feelings without attachment, we create space for acceptance and understanding. Imagine taking a mindful walk in nature, noticing the changing seasons and the beauty of each moment. This practice serves as a reminder that life is ever-evolving and each experience contributes to our journey. Another powerful way to embrace impermanence is through letting go. Letting go doesn't mean forgetting, it means freeing ourselves from the burden of attachment. Reflect on areas of your life where you may be clinging too tightly, whether it's relationships, material possessions, or outdated beliefs. By releasing these attachments, we create space for new experiences and opportunities to flourish. This process can evoke curiosity about what lies ahead when we allow ourselves to move forward without the weight of the past. As we explore the concept of impermanence, it's essential to remember that change can be beautiful. Each new chapter brings with it the potential for growth, discovery and joy. What if you approached life with a sense of curiosity and openness? How would embracing impermanence transform your experiences, relationships, and understanding of yourself? Number seven, focusing on what you can control. Imagine standing at the center of a storm, rain pouring down and winds howling. It's chaotic and overwhelming, yet amidst the chaos, you find a sense of calm. This calm arises from understanding that while you can't control the storm, you can control your response to it. Focusing on what you can control is a powerful practice that empowers us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and resilience. It shifts our attention away from external circumstances and toward our internal landscape. In our daily lives, it's easy to become consumed by worry about the things we cannot change, other people's opinions, past decisions, or unforeseen events. These concerns can spiral into anxiety, 
leaving us feeling powerless and overwhelmed. However, when we redirect our focus toward what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, we reclaim our power. Think back to a time when you faced a challenge. Maybe it was a difficult situation at work or a personal setback. By concentrating on your response rather than the external factors, you likely found a sense of agency that allowed you to navigate the situation more effectively. Recognizing the distinction between what is within our control and what is not is a vital skill. The Stoic philosophers emphasized this principle, encouraging individuals to accept external circumstances while focusing on their internal reactions. Reflect on the moments when you felt at the mercy of outside influences. How did that affect your emotions and choices? Now imagine how your perspective could shift if you focused on your ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. One practical approach to honing this skill is through mindfulness and self-reflection. Take a few moments each day to identify what aspects of your life are causing stress or anxiety. Are you worrying about someone else's behavior or a future event? Acknowledge these feelings without judgment and then shift your focus to what you can control, your thoughts, your actions, and your reactions. This practice cultivates resilience and empowers you to respond to challenges with clarity and intention. Another important aspect of focusing on what you can control is setting realistic goals. Instead of fixating on outcomes that are beyond your influence, concentrate on the steps you can take to move forward. For instance, if you're pursuing a new job, rather than stressing over whether you'll get hired, focus on preparing your resume, practicing interview skills, and networking. Each action you take reinforces your sense of control and agency in the process. As you embrace this practice, it can evoke nostalgia for times when you felt empowered by your choices. Perhaps you recall a moment when you took a leap of faith despite uncertainty, trusting in your ability to navigate whatever came your way. This sense of empowerment can inspire curiosity about how you can apply the same mindset to your current challenges. In the face of adversity, remember that focusing on what you can control not only enhances your resilience, but also fosters a greater sense of peace. What aspects of your life can you shift your focus to today? How will embracing this mindset transform your experiences moving forward? Number 8. Cultivating Virtue – The Foundation of a Meaningful Life Imagine standing at a crossroads where each path represents a different facet of your character. One leads to courage, another to kindness, and yet another to integrity. These paths symbolize the virtues we strive to cultivate throughout our lives. Virtue, often defined as moral excellence, serves as the compass guiding our actions and decisions, shaping not only our character, but also the world around us. In a society that frequently prioritizes success, power, and material gain, the importance of cultivating virtue cannot be overstated. It fosters genuine connections, empowers us to make ethical choices, and ultimately enriches our lives and the lives of others. The Timeless Wisdom of Virtue Throughout history, philosophers have emphasized the significance of virtue in the quest for a fulfilling life. Aristotle, in his seminal work, Nicomachean Ethics, argued that virtue lies in finding balance, the golden mean between extremes. He proposed that true happiness is achieved not through the pursuit of pleasure, but through the cultivation of virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance. Aristotle believed that by embodying these virtues, we can lead more meaningful and harmonious lives. Reflecting on your own experiences, consider a time when you witnessed someone exemplifying virtue. Perhaps it was an act of kindness from a stranger, a moment of bravery in the face of adversity, or the integrity displayed by a mentor. These instances resonate deeply within us, 
reminding us of the power of virtue to inspire and uplift. The impact of virtuous behavior extends beyond individual interactions. It has the potential to create a ripple effect, influencing those around us and fostering a culture of integrity and compassion. Understanding the Core Virtues While the concept of virtue encompasses a wide range of qualities, certain core virtues stand out as foundational to personal growth and ethical living. These include Courage, the ability to confront fear, uncertainty, and adversity with strength and resolve. Courage enables us to take risks, stand up for our beliefs, and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Compassion, the capacity to empathize with others and act in their best interest. Compassion fosters genuine connections, encouraging us to support those in need and create a more harmonious world. Integrity, adhering to moral and ethical principles, integrity involves being honest and transparent in our actions. It builds trust and credibility, forming the bedrock of meaningful relationships. Humility, recognizing our limitations and being open to learning from others. Humility allows us to acknowledge our mistakes, seek help when needed, and appreciate the contributions of those around us. Wisdom, the ability to discern right from wrong and make informed decisions. Wisdom combines knowledge with experience, guiding us in navigating life's complexities. Number nine, embracing mortality, the gift of life. Imagine standing on a cliff overlooking the vast ocean, waves crashing against the rocks below. In this moment of stillness, you feel the weight of your existence, a profound awareness of the fragility and impermanence of life. Mortality, often viewed with fear and apprehension, can be a powerful teacher. It compels us to confront our beliefs about existence, purpose, and the legacy we wish to leave behind. Embracing our mortality can illuminate the beauty of life, encouraging us to live more fully, authentically, and with intention. The reality of mortality. From the moment we are born, we are acutely aware of our mortality, yet society often shies away from discussing this fundamental truth. The reality is that life is finite, and each of us will face our own mortality. This awareness can evoke a sense of urgency and clarity, prompting us to reassess our priorities and values. Reflect on a moment when you encountered the concept of mortality, perhaps through the loss of a loved one or a near-death experience. How did that realization shift your perspective on life and its fleeting nature? The paradox of mortality. While mortality can be a source of fear, it also presents a paradox. The awareness of our limited time can enhance our appreciation for life, it encourages us to cherish each moment, fostering a deeper connection with ourselves and those around us. Think about the moments in your life that have been most meaningful. Often, they are the simple, everyday experiences. Laughter shared with friends, a heartfelt conversation, or the beauty of nature. Embracing mortality allows us to focus on what truly matters, leading to a more fulfilling existence. The Stoic Perspective on Mortality The Stoics, particularly philosophers like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, emphasized the importance of embracing mortality as a means of living a virtuous life. They believed that reflecting on our mortality can cultivate a sense of gratitude and urgency. By acknowledging that life is short, we are motivated to make the most of our time. Stoicism encourages us to practice negative visualization, imaging the loss of what we hold dear. This practice, while seemingly morbid, fosters appreciation and gratitude for the present moment. Consider how this perspective might transform your approach to daily life. Instead of getting caught up in trivial concerns, you can focus on what truly matters, Reflect on how embracing mortality can inspire you to engage in meaningful conversations, 
pursue your passions, and express love and gratitude to those around you. Number 10. The Power of Self-Reflection The Journey Within Imagine standing before a mirror, not just to check your appearance, but to peer deep within your soul. Self-reflection is akin to this act. It invites us to explore our thoughts, emotions, and experiences, offering a pathway to self-discovery and growth. In our fast-paced world, taking the time to engage in self-reflection may seem like a luxury, yet it is a powerful tool for personal development. It fosters greater awareness, clarity, and understanding, ultimately enabling us to navigate life's challenges with grace and purpose. The importance of self-reflection. Self-reflection serves as a mirror, allowing us to examine our beliefs, values, and behaviors. It provides insight into our motivations and choices, fostering a deeper understanding of ourselves. This introspection is essential for several reasons. Enhanced self-awareness. Self-reflection encourages us to confront our thoughts and emotions, leading to a greater understanding of who we are. This self-awareness is crucial for personal growth, enabling us to identify areas for improvement and cultivate a more authentic self. Informed decision-making. By reflecting on past experiences, we gain valuable insights that guide our future choices. Self-reflection helps us evaluate the consequences of our actions, enabling us to make more informed decisions aligned with our values and goals. Emotional regulation. Engaging in self-reflection allows us to process our emotions and experiences, promoting emotional resilience. By examining our feelings, we can develop healthier coping mechanisms and respond to challenges with greater clarity. Goal alignment. Self-reflection helps us assess our goals and aspirations, ensuring they align with our values. This alignment fosters motivation and commitment, empowering us to pursue what truly matters. The process of self-reflection. While self-reflection can take many forms, it's essential to approach the process intentionally. Here are some practical steps to guide your self-reflection journey. Set aside time. Carve out dedicated time for self-reflection, free from distractions. Whether it's through journaling, meditation, or quiet contemplation, creating a peaceful environment fosters deeper introspection. Ask thought-provoking questions. Use guided questions to facilitate your reflection. Consider inquiries such as, what are my core values and how do they influence my decisions? What lessons have I learned from my recent experiences? How do I want to grow in the coming months? What fears or obstacles are holding me back? Embrace. Honesty. Approach your self-reflection with honesty and compassion. Acknowledge both your strengths and areas for growth without judgment. This honesty fosters a safe space for exploration and understanding. Explore your emotions. Take time to delve into your emotions. How do they impact your thoughts and actions? Understanding the underlying emotions can lead to greater clarity and informed decision-making. Document your insights. Consider keeping a reflective journal to document your thoughts, feelings, and insights. Writing can help solidify your reflections and provide a tangible record of your growth over time. As we wrap up this exploration into the transformative power of self-reflection, I encourage you to take a moment and think about your own journey. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've made it this far. This shows you're part of the select few who are truly committed to their personal growth. Remember, every step you take towards understanding yourself better is a step towards a more fulfilling life. If you're serious about making lasting changes and unlocking your true potential, be sure to join our community by hitting that subscribe button. By subscribing, you're not just committing to your own journey, 
but also connecting with a group of like-minded individuals who are all striving for improvement. Let's support each other as we continue on this path of self-discovery and growth together.